Capitol Hill. I'm Go Local News Editor Kate Nagel. It's been a very politically themed show up here today and someone who's here to talk some politics with us, Everett Smith, thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate your coming on because you're going to tell folks a little bit about a campaign that you and other folks are embarking upon. Get folks to vote. Very exciting. So um, in the wake of kind of the the March walkouts and, and the protests, there's been a lot of talk about getting students engaged with political issues that have, that have a lot to do with them. So uh, in, in wake of that, I joined with a couple of students, a lot of kids from Classical, a lot of students from the Providence Student Union, and we made this group. It's called REVRI, that stands for Register, Educate, Vote. And we kind of see that as sort of the, the three basic steps to getting kids interested and engaged in democracy and the democratic process. That's been really exciting. So you've been out and about literally trying to sign folks up. Were you just at Burnside Park? Yeah, yeah. So just the other day, we were in um, Kennedy Plaza, and then we moved to Burnside Park. We signed up in just under two hours, I think about 51 people. We got like 15 volunteers to come out, all kids, all of them under 20, the entire thing organized by students. It It was very cool. Okay, so you were hitting the ground running, again, trying to get people to vote. How many more of these voter registration events do you anticipate doing? Um, So the elections will be this fall. The primaries are in September. And in order to vote in the elections, you must be registered at least 30 days beforehand. Uh, We're working on setting up more registration events, and we'll basically be working uh, until that 30-day deadline. Um, We're busy organizing volunteers, getting people together. We kind of had our flagship registration event, right? So we had to work out a lot of the kinks, a lot of the mishaps, a lot of mistakes. Now that we have the model down, we're looking at doing registration events at least once a month, hopefully once a week, whenever we can get two or three volunteers together. So what do you think, what have the lessons learned been so far? What did you wish you knew when you first started? What what did I wish I knew? Um, I I wish I knew that you will always invite more people than show up. (laughs) That is that is a truism if there ever was one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of like an airline, right? Airlines have to overbook their flights in order to fill them. As long as you're not dragging anyone off the plane. Exactly, yes. <laughs> yeah, oh gosh, yeah. Um, but it's also, it's, it's been really cool kind of figuring out how, how easy it is to get engaged in democracy, right? I think a lot of people are disillusioned or they're upset with politics. They think that their voice doesn't matter, that they won't be heard. And I think that's true, but I, I think it's only true if you don't speak up, right? So it's, it's been really cool meeting a lot of very cool people, meeting you, meeting all kinds of politicians and other activists. People are passionate about change. They want change. They just need to know how. So you see it a lot nationally. You see it a lot here in Rhode Island. Yes. What's the best website that folks can find out or go to Facebook? Oh, for, for us? So we have an Instagram account. That's Rev Rhode Island, R-E-V Rhode Island. Uh, You can follow that. You'll get all the updates you need to know what we're up to, how you can support, how you can volunteer. I would also suggest um, for people who want to register to vote or want information about campaigns, TurboVote.com is very cool. They're national. You just enter in your postal code and they'll set you up with everything you need to know to vote this fall. Well, very good. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. It's been a very politically themed show, yes. yeah, <laughs> as yeah. a lot of our coverage here at Go Local is. But wanted to get the youth vote and see what you're going to be up to. So where are you in school? What's next year hold? Um, so I am a junior. I just finished my junior year at the Wheeler School. That's on the east side. Um, I'll be a senior next fall. I'll be applying to colleges, uh, see where I'm going. But staying engaged in a lot of politics, it's, it's been really exciting. It certainly sounds like it. It sounds like you're going to be hitting the ground running this summer. I yes. appreciate your coming here to tell folks thank you all so about much. it. We'll put those links up as well. Everett Smith, thank you so much. It's been lovely. I'll let you go and I'll welcome our last guest here live at Federal Hill.